Yeah, buddy. I'm just wondering how you uh, thought you you played in the first uh, preseason game. Were you happy with your your efforts in that game or your, the way you played? Uh, you know, I'm never really satisfied. Uh, just me. You know, I feel like I can always get better. You know, there's things I can go back to the drawing board and get better at. But you know, it's just about showing up every day, getting better at practice. So, you know, like I say, that's 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 the biggest thing for me is getting better. I mean, I'm happy with my performance, but I'm not satisfied. Brian, back up. Hey, buddy. Um, when it comes to Vince Williams, I know you weren't with him very long, but uh, but Jerry O said that he was holding up the standard in in your room. What were you able to gather from him uh, during mini camp, and and who else is kind of taking you under your your wing? Whether it's someone like Cam Hayward or, or Tyson or someone like that. Uh, Vince, he was a different dude. So when I first got in, uh, my first time meeting him, uh, like in person, finally, he was like, "Oh, you buddy, huh?" I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Oh, yeah." Yeah, take this box to the car. <laughs> I was like, bro, it's my first time meeting. But uh, now nah, he was a good dude. And, you know, just just the game he played. You know, you can tell he played with a lot of effort, a lot of energy. You know, he was a big time guy. But you know, I think the linebacker room has really been guys that helped me out a lot, like Rob and Devin. You know, uh, Chico, those guys. Um, those guys have been you know the laid down a, a great standard for the room. You know, just showing how they play. You know, what the standards are, like you said, Coach JL said the standards ain't changed. But that's for anyone, anyone in the room. The standards are the standards. You know, that's just how we want to play. Tim Benz. Buddy, how much do you think your potential for playing time changed once Vince did retire? How much do you think the prospect of getting out on the field more often uh, adjusted and, and what the coaches might ask of you now because he isn't on the roster? Uh, for me, I really just try not to worry about that. Uh, you know, I just try to, you know, contribute to the team however I can. Just show up every day, like I say, get better. Um, you know, whenever my name get called, my number get called, I know I'll be ready. So, like I say, just keep uh, preparing the right way, doing the right things, handling the little things, and, you know, going day by day, getting better. So, you know, when my number is called, I'll be ready. Mike Brazuda. Hey, buddy, your coach, Jerry Osafke, has said that he can tell you're a hitter. Uh, have, have you always been that? And do you have one or two that are favorites of yours over the years where you, you know, you really got somebody and, and it satisfied you. Uh, yeah, I, I would say I've always been, you know, a big hitter because, of course, this game, it involves a lot of physicality. Uh, but, you know, like, it's something that I embrace. You know, I love to hit. Uh, it's fun. It's a big part of the game. And uh, I would go back to my UCLA hit my freshman uh, year in high school. That was a big hit, pretty big hit. Uh, it was in the Rose Bowl. So, you know, it's something I'll never forget. You know, like I say, that that's you just have to fall in love with that part of the game. You know, if you especially if you're a linebacker on the defensive side of the ball. Jeff Hathorn. Buddy, you mentioned that you'd be ready when called. How familiar familiarized are you with the defense and how do you feel about the role on special teams? Uh you know, I've been doing it, you know, a lot, just making sure that, you know, I know the defense. Uh coming from the defense I came from, you know, it was kind of four two nickel defense. You know, now uh, going into a 3-4, you know, stand up outside linebacker, it's a lot different. But, you know, like I say, I feel like uh, my football IQ is high enough to, you know, get acclimated to, you know, what's going on, understand the new run fits, the new pass schemes, you know, how guys work together. You know, that's the biggest part for me, not understanding my job. That's the easiest part for me. But knowing what guys doing around me, that only makes my job easier. Jim Colony. Hey, buddy, how, how is Jerry O as a coach? Is he more of a nice guy, pat you on the back, encouragement, or is he a tough love guy? Uh, he, he's, he's a tough guy, you know. Uh, I would say that, you know, he, he's, he's all about uh, get, finding the positive and everything, you know. Uh, like I said, he's tough, and, you know, he's one of them throwback linebackers back in the day, so that's, you know, what type of tough I'm talking about. But uh, like I said, he, he's a great coach to me because he always finds the positive and everything, you know. He's only going to help you get better, but he wants you to have that ultimate confidence, you know, that that you need to have to get there. So, you know, like I say, he's a tough guy, but he can, you know, help you in a positive way, but don't get it twisted, like I say. <laughs> Anthony Jaskolski. Hi, buddy. Um, you said earlier that uh, there were some things you wanted to get better at and work on. I was just wondering what specifically are those things you want to improve at? Uh, I would just say for me, you know, uh, getting off blocks, you know, not staying on blocks too long, you know, like I say, striking and getting off blocks, uh, you know, my commu communication, you know, it, 
it's good, but it can get a lot better, you know, just uh, being up here with these guys, is, you know, seeing how much communication is a big thing, you know, talking to guys, making sure everyone is on the same page, you know, just being out there, going out there with that ultimate confidence, communicating, you know, uh, guys understand that, you know, you're a rookie, but still they expect high, high uh, standards from you to go out and communicate like you're a vet. So, you know, like I say, little things like that, you know, just being where my feet are, just continuing to get better however I can. Nick Fairball. Hey, buddy. So, so far, what, what are you learning? Are they having you learn both Mac and Buck, or are you kind of just learning Buck as it stands right now? And you talked about that vocal leadership. Do you feel like it's a responsibility with Vince now? He was kind of the vocal voice in the room. Do you feel like that's kind of part of your responsibility to speak up and fill that void? Uh, right now, I'm just learning Buck, but, you know, Coach uh, J.O. always tell everyone in the room, you know, you, you have to be ready to play whichever position, you know, like I said, like I was saying earlier, whenever your number is called, you have to be ready. So, I try, like I said, I, I like to know what everyone around me is doing. Uh, so it's kind of that for me. But uh, like I say, um, for anyone in the room, you know, you're asked to be a vocal leader just because, you know, that are, that's the standards you're asked. And being an inside linebacker in this part of the game, you, you have to be a vocal leader. You have to get guys that, you know, get behind you. That's, like I say, that's that ultimate confidence, you know, you showing guys that you know what you're doing. You can go out and talk and run a defense. That only make guys already believe in you. So, like I say, that's just something I try to take care of for me. Alan Saunders. You're kind of right along that line. Uh, what do you feel like has been the, the most difficult part of the transition for you? Has it been, you know, the physical, the, the speed, or the mental? Uh, I would say just the speed of the game. You know, it's a lot faster. Uh, everyone says it's a lot faster in the NFL, but, you know, you don't really get to feel that speed until you actually get out here and, you know, uh, go against the vets and see the speed. But, you know, I feel like I'm getting acclimated to it uh, a lot. But, I, like I said, I just have to – continue to keep showing up to practice, getting better, you know, keeping the winning mindset, you know, just like I say, coming out every day and just trying to get better and, you know, contribute how I can. All right, got time for a couple of follow-ups. Brian Backo. Yeah, buddy, I can't help but notice you and Trey Turner are both wearing 51. I assume you'll both be here come week one. So what happens then? Is Does he change? Do, do you have another number uh, in mind? Will they maybe let you slip into that number one you had at a and <laughs> I mean, I really don't know about that. Like I say, uh, the number really don't mean anything to either of us. So, you know, like I say, we just show up every day getting better. Uh, when that when that time's come, we'll see. But like I say, the, the number is the last thing we're worried about right now. And then last one, Nick Fairbach. Go ahead, Nick. Buddy, how is it going up against Matt Canada's offense? He's particularly put stress on linebackers. So how, how hard is it to play as a linebacker when you face – that type of, a de of, of an offense that kind of shifts so much and, and has all that play action and all that motion? Uh, it just goes back to discipline, you know, having that discipline and, you know, knowing your assignment, you know, knowing who you're working with. So, like I say, that's the biggest part about it. Uh, when you know what guys around you are doing and you get all these shifts and motions, you know who you communicate, you know who you're talking to. So, uh, like I say, the biggest part of about it is communication and, you know, just knowing what's going on and where you need to be when you, be, uh, when you need to be there. So, for me, uh, I feel like I came from, you know, uh, uh, I wouldn't say offense, but uh, back when I was in college, uh, we used to see a lot of that in practice, a lot of jets, a lot of motion. So it's something that I'm kind of used to. So I, can, I know how to snap my head, you know, get my eyes around it, you know, when I need to.